Alrighty everybody, so today's video is going to be part 2 of my How to Survive guides and this one is going to be for college. Now, I know that some people may be um, doing the transi transition from high school to college and it can be very difficult at times, especially like if you are the very first person in, view in your family that is going to college, like myself, I was clueless about college. So just some tips that I have that may help you. So the very first tip that I have is that if you are still undecided on what major sh should you be in, um, you should go and talk to a counselor and they will guide you, they will make you like kind of like a test and depending on the results they will offer you like certain majors that you may be good for. So, oh yeah, I always try that. And for your first semester, when you get your classes, please, please go and look for your classrooms like a week beforehand because I know that when I went, the, my first, first semester, I was like, oh, okay, I just, I have a class in room, let's say, 543. So I was like, oh, okay, I know the room. And I just checked the campus map, oh, okay, there it is. But I couldn't find the room that day, so imagine the stress of the first day in college and trying to find the room and if you don't, like, I was thinking if I don't make it in time, the professor is going to drop me from the class because it's going to give the place to a crasher. I was so stressful that, fir that first day. So, yeah, always know where your classes are at. And also, if you're driving, please get like an hour early to campus before uh, your first class because it's hectic the first week especially the first day you won't find a parking lot if you, oh, if you arrive like 15 minutes before a class you're not going to find any uh, if you're tr taking a bus to college know what buses are you which buses are you going to take and know like what time does it get you to get from your home or your dorm to campus so that's tips um another tip that i have is if you know your classes and you know what what books is your professor going to ask for buy them before school before the session starts because what happens is that everybody tries to buy their books at the same time so you get like a ginormous line people just like waiting to pay for their books and I did the one I did that I did that like I guess one semester a couple semesters ago and oh my god I was two hours in line at the bookstore just waiting to get to pay my book like it was just the one book that my professor was like at the last minute oh we're going to need this book so I was like oh, I have to go again so yeah I always try to buy them before the classes start also, I have another tip on the socializing because I know that a lot of people, uh, it's, it's, it's like their weakness. Okay, so college. Um, we, have se we all have seen it on TV that it's like a party time for everybody. Well, it's not if you are very serious about your school and your degree because what happens is that people or promoters post all these fire some around campus all such a party and all that and it's very easy to be like oh I want to go to this party and if your buddy drags you in so personally I don't party um, because I don't know I just feel like I don't fit in um, I don't know it's just the way I am <laughs> I guess but I know a lot of people tend to party and they party like crazy in college because they're by themselves so their parents don't tell them anything they're so it's very easy to just forget about school and go to party but what happens is that if you end up on um, probation it's going to be very hard to get out of probation and like get your GPA going and all that so limit your party if you like to go to a party just go one to one, a couple but don't overdo it so my only advice is study 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 um, depending on your like learning skills or I know that some people can just go to class listen to what the professor says and they're like done 
and some other people are better with study groups. Some others are better writing essays, reading, and all that. Like, I'm a little bit of all. I need to do a little bit of study group, a little bit of here in the class, a little bit of reading, uh, homeworks. So, always um, go to class, always, because it's very helpful, because sometimes the professors may give you a pop quiz, and that's where you will lose points. <laughs> so, another tip that I have for you is don't overdo it. I know that some people go crazy. My sister does. Uh, she takes like a bunch of classes and has like 15 units and or I know like one person who once took 18 units in one semester and she was going crazy because all that work, all that studying for all that classes. So if you're not going to work, um, try to take from 12 to 15 units per semester uh, that's a full-time student so that's very easy to handle but if you're going to work more than full-time or close to full-time don't take more than eight units because you're not going to be able to handle it and that's from experience because I tried to overdo it once and I couldn't make it that semester so it was sad but yes but I just like next semester try harder and succeed. So, I guess that's all I have to say to you. I don't know, I'm just like, keep thinking what's good to tell you. Oh, the, I, for, I just remember. Okay, so the very first day of, on our tip is that the very first day of class, don't bring all of your books with you because pretty much the first day of class, your professor professors are just going to hang out the syllabus and just explain with the class and all that, take roll, take crashers, <laughs> drop people. So don't bother carrying your books with class. Just bring a notebook and a pen to write down certain notes like this class is going to be about this and if they ask you to like sometimes they decide to um, make modifications to their syllabus. So always have that in mind. And also buy an agenda because it will be a lifesaver, you will be better organized. And organization is crucial in college and time man management as well. I started out um, taking, being a full time student, and I was taking like, I guess, like 13 to 15 units each semester. But my situation changed and I had to go to work. And so sometimes it can be very discouraging, like, you have to the stress and all the responsibility from work and this stress responsibility from school and it can be very discouraging like oh well you sometimes may think well I'm going to college to get a job but I already have a job um well yes but the job that you have mm, it's not going to be as well paid as if you had a college degree so don't get discouraged I sometimes I have gotten to that point where I'm like, well, I'm just get. I've been thinking like, dropping school, college, but then I come back and I'm like, no, it's not worth it. Like, I've made uh, like all these sacrifices. I'm looking down because there's an end right here. Like, ah, uh, it's bothering me. Okay. So going back, sometimes, a lot of times in college you have to make sacrifices, like not hanging out with your friends, not going to the movies, not not seeing your family as much as you like to but it's so worth it and like me like I am in my junior year I'm like I'm just like this close to graduating and I just can't give up right now you know what I mean like I've gotten like so far that if I give up it will be like the worst decision I made in my life so so yeah, I mean, always stay strong and positive, like, if you're having trouble with one class, go to tutoring, ask your professors, it will help you. So, uh, that's all that I have to say to you, and I hope you have an awesome time in college and have fun, but think that what you're doing is for your future and you need to take it seriously. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! So I wish you success in college. <laughs>